So slide two should be the same three guitars, but the frequency range is different on the bottom axis. It should be going from something like uh, a kilohertz up to four kilohertz or something like that, 500 up to four kilohertz, something like that. And what this shows is that all these complex resonances that, you're, that the body of your guitar has, if you just look at any one of those colors on that picture, you're going to see things that go up and things that go down. And there's a lot of them. Okay. And, and that is what gives your guitar a, its personality. And that's what makes it sound interesting. It's that very um, complex bunch of ups and downs. Okay. That's the, sort of the signature of your guitar. And there's three guitars laid on top of each other on the slide. And it shows that they don't line up very well. Okay, these were this was made under the same circumstances, same microphone, same position, three different guitars. And this slide just demonstrates that trying to use an impulse response that was made on another guitar on your guitar is problematic because those things don't line up. So you're going to be trying to boost frequencies that aren't there and you're going to be um, dipping frequencies that are there and it just doesn't work. It's this is the, the reason that people say, sometimes people say, IRs can sound artificial or hollow, something like that. Well, it's usually because the impulse response they're using was created on somebody else's guitar. And these things are not lining up. It's like the glove is not fitting. It's, it's not lining up where it's supposed to. And that, that just doesn't sound good. That makes sense. So that was the thing with the Fishman Aura, right? If your guitar, if you had an OM guitar and you used the impulse response from a Dreadnought guitar, you'd have this mismatch, and that's when you would hear those weird sounds. Is that right? That that is right. And unfortunately, it's worse than that. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you can have the same identical model of guitar, and those things still won't line up. So that's. Should be made for problem. that particular guitar, ideally. Yeah, it's, you know, getting those things to line up, you know, two guitars coming off the factory one after the other, they still won't line up. They'll be closer, but they're still not going to line up. And you will have issues. Wow. They won't be as bad as if you're using different models. But if you're listening, you can hear it. Okay. So even if someone gave me... And an IR of my of the same model guitar, it's still better for me to make one of my actual guitar. Okay. I, I I would maintain that yes, okay. it is. If you really want it to be as good as it could be, and you want that natural sound, and you don't, and you want to feel like there's nothing between you and the sound that's bothering you, then you need to make your own. Okay, that's really great info, and that's why sometimes things do work because they, they just happen. You get lucky, right? They match up. I remember days of sitting there with this pedal, um, which again, I have to give this thing props. It was way ahead of its time. And, uh, but I remember sitting there just going through each one, trying to find the one that would match up the best. And then thinking to myself, is that the closest that I can get? So making this custom IR means you can use any pickup and it matches with your particular instrument. That's really cool. And we should just mention mm -hmm. here, I was talking to a friend of mine last night, who plays the cello. This isn't just for acoustic guitar. I know most people here are probably guitarists because that's what my channel is about. But this also has other benefits um, where it, this will work with other instruments as well, like we said earlier on. We should just re uh, remind people of that. This isn't just for acoustic guitar. Uh, that's right. Yeah, it works with any acoustic instrument that has a pickup, basically. Okay. And we sell a lot to uh, upright bass players and violinists, uh, mandolin, banjo. So yeah, everything. Banjo, Banjo needs an IR. Yeah, cello. <laughs>